26 people were hurt when a backyard deck collapsed. That deck that collapsed in South Austin. It happened Friday night in Little Canada. Four men of the deck falling about 30 to a collapsed deck that crushed dozens of parts. Well, Luanda, tell us about the experience with that deck class. Well, it was scary. It happened fast. So without warning, it just, it it just, just went down. It just went down. So it was just like that fast and it went down. Yep. Before you know it, you're looking up and the deck yep. was there. <laughs> it was down. Yeah, and my foot was caught here. I was down here. This is one of the reasons when the decks had collapsed. In this association, they'd have 83 decks. We came out here and called because one of the decks had collapsed. And when we took the deck down, we seen the same evidence. Again, there was no flashing. It just wasn't properly attached. List, give it a yearly check. There's no reason the deck ever goes this far. If you're giving and maintaining your deck yearly, you might retain a deck board or have some minor issues, but it should never go this far with anyone's deck. Let me ask you, where would a person find an inspector that would come out and let's check out their deck you? Go to www.nadra.org and find a deck builder in your area on their website. Give them a call and they'd be more than happy to come and check your deck. So this could all have been avoided with just proper flashing. Absolutely. Uh, if, the, if this was flashed properly, you wouldn't see any moisture at all on your siding, any of your wood. Um, and as you can see, it goes all the way back into your studs and insulation, everything is just drenched. Look at the damage that's done to the wall itself. I can actually put my hand right inside to this. There's no band joist at all. It's amazing this door is still held up. Right now we've got a temporary support underneath there just to hold this particular wall up. That leads to the band joist, but even all the way down through the wall. Even the steel plate down here, the water had traveled right through the wall and into the steel plate, and it's just falling apart. We're going to have to replace all this. So thousands of dollars of damage was caused because the deck wasn't properly flashed. First, look for G185, which is Simpson. Simpson Strong Tie set the standards. That's 1.85 ounces of galvanizing per square foot of metal and or stainless steel. Use this with your fasteners when you're using green treated lumber and you shouldn't have these problems. 